Today, we are playing some of the worst reviewed football games on Steam. We'll start with the positive ones, and then we'll slowly make our way down to the pit of doom that is awful Steam football games. I have a lot of terrible games lined up for this video, so let's lower our standards, have some fun, and enjoy the memes. But before we begin, let's hear from today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to create a beautiful website and run your business. Squarespace has a variety of quality templates and presets to choose from, so you can set up the website that's right for you, your business, or whatever you want to make a website for. It's quick and it's easy to use as well. I was able to create a website for the greatest players in my channel's history in a matter of minutes. Thanks to Squarespace, I can have threaded comments, replies, and likes, so we as a community can come together and debate which players deserve to be the best. And with built-in analytics, I can track the data and find the results as well. Squarespace has been sponsoring my channel for many years. I can't thank them enough. Build your website today by going to squarespace.com slash not the expert for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Once again, go to squarespace.com slash not the expert, where you're going to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. The first game we're looking at is Pigskin Punter. I already know this game is going to be a meme because like looking at this trailer with like a spinning monkey, somebody has a sense of humor whoever made this. This is a trailer just straight to the point. I see we just launched the ball through the uprights world-class trailer right here the monkey made it 10 out of 10 for me now let's go look at the reviews contains no actual punting 10 out of 10 <laughs> this game is a lifesaver and will make anyone a better person <laughs> you know what yum 13 you've sold the game for me or how about cpt he says this game is basically a gift from god <laughs> banger game of the year so it sounds like we're starting off absolutely hot about as high and glowing reviews as you can get so it's all downhill from here but let's see what the hype is all about now Okay, yes. All right, the graphics look exactly the same as the trailer. Press G to start. And then we just launch it with space bar. All right. Level one cleared. Okay, so I guess it's just a bunch of levels in a row. I do feel a little bit uncomfortable with these Easter eggs just kind of staring at me. But oh, I see this game is filled with Easter eggs. This is phenomenal entertainment. Very good gameplay. Sound effects, clapping A1. Absolute banger. Oh, we got a little twist on it. Will it make it? Can I influence it in the air? Okay, I've failed for the first time. Now we have a moving field goal post. I got to complete pigskin punter if it's the last thing I do. Oh, we're going into the sky. I will not be phased. Bang! Upside down hoop. Not even hoop. Why am I thinking of basketball? Just got blocked like it was basketball. The fart sound effects and the fail when I hit the ground. I was like, why does this exist? I'm not sure, but it's, it's funny as crap. I think I hit that way too high. <laughs> worthless. Now I feel it. I gotta lock in, baby. Hit it now. Too much sauce. I'm definitely struggling with level seven. Wasting my time. Wasting your time. I won't fail now. Get in there. We did it. Bang. Where even is this? It's all the way over there. Did we hit it enough? Nope. Get some more air under that bad boy. Still short. Okay, I sent that to the moon. Hopefully that is enough power. Damn it. This is actually pretty entertaining for what it is. That's a tiny goalpost in that corner. Tin is really leveling it up. Okay, that's too much power. Too little power. I might spend all day just trying to beat Pigskin Punter. You are bad. <laughs> you are bad. Is that a wall blocking this one? There's no way that's enough power, right? Yep, just deflected. We'll go over it. Never mind, that's not working at all. Your grandma could play better than that. All right. I'm taking the hints. I'll suck it up. I'll get better. This one is difficult. That would have been short anyway. Balls. How in the world do you get enough power to get up there? Oh, did I find the secret? Okay. I didn't even think that went in. Did I beat the game? Yes. I mean, 13 levels. That's it. Had fun. Hated it. Let me know. I'd love the feedback. You know what? That was spectacular. A game by Brandon Offenstein. Masterpiece right here. Everyone, leave her a glowing review. Oh, that was 10 out of 10. Very fun. So pure football is modern football set in the 1930s. That actually sounds like an interesting idea. Very unique. It says it's got franchise mode. What is funny about some of the description here is it says, get away from that animation gameplay. But later on, it says, hopeful feature improvements, animation improvements. So I don't know. I mean, it's, of course, you could have animations in a video game, but it's funny that they cited that specifically. And some of the reviews, this guy said he would keep the game so the devs could like keep the money for improvements later on. But then he refunded 
funded it anyway. What a troll. And there's just a ton of people just saying, great, stick it to EA because it's a game with like franchise gameplay and stuff. I get that. The game is rough, but it's fun. That's all right. We're, we're still up in the mixed range right now. We haven't made it down to the negative ratings yet, but thanks, Captain Caboose. I will take that information and make an opinion on the game. But all around, this looks like a little bit of an abandoned game. I mean, it says 2018 on here, so it's been a minute probably, but we'll see how this game actually pans out. Looks like we got a season mode in this game. I need to see what that's all about. Roster management. Make custom roster. That sounds fun. This is a screen, all right. It looks like I'm looking straight at XL. Holy crap, but you can definitely just fill out this whole roster. So what I'm doing here is just kind of making like a little bit of a UGF roster. We got Will Horton at offensive coordinator down here. Tony Romo head coach. And I'm going to make some like old timey names because we're in like 1930s, remember? Uh, so our quarterback's going to be Colton Roughneck. I just maxed out his ratings just so we could see what it's like out here. But we need a fast running back too. What's an old timey name? Smitherson Withers is our running back. This is the 1930s though. Do we need wide receivers? How often are we going to be throwing the football? But it did say it's modern football, so we can still have like spread offenses and stuff. Does that take me out of the simulation thing here? Yeah, let's do it anyway. Jameson Peabody. Yes, I'm making my guys OP. Deal with it. I just want to see what this gameplay is all about. A lot of teams to choose from here. There it is. Fairburn Pandas. Colton Roughneck. Smitherson Withers. Jameson Peabody. And then Tyreek Davis. That name doesn't fit in the 1930s to my brain, but we'll roll with it. Starting year. <laughs> How early can we make this? I guess it is just a number in this game, but I don't want to go prehistoric. New management. The Pandas are looking to win it all with the rookie quarterback and star running back Smitherson Withers. That's hilarious. You know, in a way, I do kind of like the old timey music. Kind of reminds me when I'm playing like Fallout and stuff. Oh, we can do coach mode? Newspaper. Let's do it. I have no idea what's happening here, but oh, black and white. I imagine this game was not televised back in 1930. Oh my. Is it really going to be this far back? Oh, is he really this slow? <laughs> <laughs> this ragdoll down. Let's go heavy with our running back. This is really like just drawn out on a piece of paper. It does make me feel a little bit older. All right, hand the ball off to Smitherson Withers. Oh, there's that speed. That's what we were waiting on. Oh, I'm gonna just run him over. Yeah, I might have made these guys a little overpowered, but this is fun. Touchdown already. The lack of crowd goes wild. We're going for two. This is back in the day. We don't need field goals. Hand off and just beeline it, Withers. You're the goat. Okay, now we kick it off. How do I kick off? Unsure. I clicked a button and he just did it himself. Very far back camera. Oh, <laughs> I just smacked him. There is a lot of rough things about this game so far, but I'm having fun. I'm way off sides, by the way. Is there any penalties? He got absolutely annihilated. Yeah, there was a penalty. Get him. <laughs> it's so funny the way they just hit the ground like that. He's dropping back to pass and he, oh, he goes flying. So we ran for a touchdown pretty easily last time, but let's throw the ball this time. Really depends on where my guy is on the corner. See, he's number 88. What? I don't even know what button it is to throw it to him. He's way open. Well, why are we running? Oh, <laughs> we got sacked for his safety. I was just trying to create some space so I could throw the football. He's too fast. He's going to go. They're going to take the lead. We've blown it. So he's going to go for the field goal. I think he missed it. Yeah, we're going to remain tied here at eight. Get open deep, mate. Just a flick of the wrist. No one's even remotely out there. Man, this is the 1930s. It's all about the running back. Give it to Smithers and Withers on the edge and let him just take over. Oh, he stepped out of bounds. I got to complete a deep pass if it's the last thing I do. Oh, got nailed on the hip. Where's that offensive line? Can he hit him? Under thrown by a mile. Okay, passing is a little rough in this game. What about running with the quarterback though? Oh, they all immediately broke at him. Can he shake him? Nope, safety again. It's just funny. The second I started sprinting with the quarterback, they all just broke towards him. I really like how the camera is very customizable in this game, but I don't like looking at the field goal post right here. Oh, did I get a pick? It's going to be a pick six for Stewart. What a guy. Get the football. You know, just let it go. Guy just uh, gave it a little kiss. All right, here's my goal. Oh, not get booty blasted like that. I want to get a 200 yard touchdown. One end zone to the other end zone and back. See, Smitherson can get like 10 yards of separation. Oh, but he's not going to get out of this. Oh, another safety. You can't stop Smitherson. He's off to the races. Touchdown. Yeah, I might have made him a little bit overpowered, but it's fun.
<laughs> we can't even do a jump off pass. The passing is pretty horrid in this game. Hey, we got the win, 29 to 12. That was pretty goofy and fun gameplay, but super derpy. A little game recap there. We got, what, Smitherson Withers got 228 rushing yards. Well done. Let's just simulate the whole season, see what happens. 3-0. and oh. oh, yeah. 4-1. and one. What? Zero yards passing. Unbelievable. Dude, it looks like we dominated most of the year. Finished 14 and 2 on the year up there. Yeah, Colton Roughneck was the leader of everything. Touchdowns, rushing, passing. It, why is he the leader in receiving? Andy. Okay. I think it's glitched. Oh, we lost in the playoffs. Unbelievable. Tony Romo retired. Now it's time for the draft. Wait, did it draft for us? I thought I was supposed to be drafting. Okay, whatever. The game has glitched up pretty badly. So that's the end of that. Well, that was certainly a game. I like the idea, but I don't know. It's almost like I'm mixed, like everybody else. Captain Caboose was correct. The game is definitely rough, but there's some fun to be had there. Next game we're playing is DFL 2. And I don't even know where to start with this game. Just looking at the Steam page, it looks like an endless runner with like a lot of crazy things happening. So far, I've seen obstacle courses, zombies, American Ninja Warrior stuff, first person mode. I mean, this game looks like chaos. There's only one review for this game and it's by a guy named Obey the Fist. He says, well, it looks like a sports game. Not high praise there. So technically it is negative, even though there's only one review. But honestly, this game looks goofy, and we'll see if it's promising. I see. It looks like we have to save up and buy our players, so like, you can go all the way to the top. You got like Lamar, Derrick Henry, Devontae Adams. It says it's a different name, but we all know who that is. It can be quite expensive to get these guys. I mean, we're starting down here with Steve. You can upgrade your linemen, buy a new stadium. We can buy weapons, because I saw zombies. Definitely looks like a crazy game. I don't need a tutorial. I'm a grown man. Let's do it, Steve. In this runner begins now. Hut. Okay, just hop over him. I see, that's the sprint move. You gotta save it. And he's gonna make it all the way to the end. Nice. And then running into the wall. So we got 200 points for that. That was only level one. Let's see how far we can go with Steve. The little guys are not the problem. Oh, still got 96 from not completing the level. Okay, I think I'm figuring it out. Juking him. Then we're there. Don't run into the wall. Oh, he, he doesn't know how to stop. He's like Forrest Gump. He's just going to run eternally. Do I have to do this like a million times to beat this game? Did you see that juke move? Is that it? Is that level one? Is it getting me past level one? Or are we still going to stay on level one? I have no idea what's happening. Oh, do we have to run through that gate in the middle? Okay, maybe I made a mistake here. I'm figuring out this game and it's weird specific rules. I don't need a tutorial. I'm a grown man. I'm right, just going to go through the middle this time. Show him who's boss. Never mind, I failed. Run to the curtain. Don't get knocked over by air. Oh, I see. Okay, so it really is an endless runner. You have to make it through the curtain. Ah! Damn it. It shoots me back to level one. Oh no. The breathing down my neck and it's kind of uncomfortable to hear. I will become a master at this game. Just watch me. Ooh! 32's got my cheeks, but I believe in Steve. Round three, the farthest we've made it so far. Oh! Bonus option. Let's go to that one. Is this a power up on the end? Interesting. Does this mean I can't get tackled? Nope, that's not what that means at all. 1v1. Okay, how about this? This is much more of my speed. Do I get actual points for this? Is this going to be infinite? Just 1v1 with the same guy? Am I just going to be racking up points? Have I cheated the system? Don't mind me. I'm just going to rack up points for the next like 20 minutes. Ooh, let's try first person. It didn't change it. Was I lied to about first person? What am I doing with my life? I'm sitting here racking up 100 points a pop in a game that has one review on Steam and it's negative. Like, this is still mild fun at the moment, but it's just like one of those things you're like, how did I get here? Am I contributing to society? I'm unsure. You know what? I'll get to level 100 and then I'll use my points to buy something because hopefully that's the points meter at the top. You're not kidding. Every level is the exact same here on this 1v1. So you could, in theory, just rack up points infinitely. But I'm on level 100. That's over 10,000 points. Yay! So I think Steve's getting tired. I'm just gonna run into him. I only got a thousand points for all of that. You're telling me I wasted this much time for this? Unbelievable. All right, that's how you want to play it, game. It's not even enough to buy the next guy. I don't need him. Let's try the object game. All right, now we're first person. Run through the objects. Is this, Is this making, making me, dizzy? me dizzy? Just, Just a, little a little bit. I don't know what he's doing with his hands. How does anyone get through that? First person is a no-go. Let's try some parkour. My guy now has a skull on the back and I didn't make it. I gotta get through it. I have to become the American Ninja Warrior. Oh, 
ran into a pole. That's all right. All greats have to practice over and over to reach their goals. We can go slow-mo mode. Oh, and still run into the pole. Every failure is one step closer to achieving victory. Ah, one small step for man. One giant failure for me in this game. I must complete it for the sake of my mind. Oh, we were kind of hacking it there for a bit. Okay, now I'm just getting a little sad. Oh, negative 200 for what? I absolutely obliterated the game. All right, let's go back to the homepage. <laughs> so parkour was a bit of a oh, do I have to try one more time? Yeah, for country. Never mind. One more run and we can buy the next dude. Okay, I can juke those guys out. I just gotta have the skill. Oh, that guy's just a wall. We have enough to buy the next guy. This dude named Noah who has more sprints. So hopefully that helps. I'm just like super locked in right now. I gotta get past level three. Oh, how did he dive at me? That's a shame. Ugh, this game is losing its luster. See, if I get to level five, it said, then I can unlock the next one. This is a lot of effort just to unlock a base thing of the game. Damn it. Why is this so difficult? I can't get past level three. I'm feeling it. This is the time I beat level three. What? And I just ran into a brick wall. We're finally getting through. It's legit taking me like 45 minutes to do this, but we made it to level four. We have to make it to level five. Oh, barely. We're still cooking. Run, mate. We just did it at the buzzer to level five. Or do we have to clear level five? Oh, I don't know how I dodged that guy. Damn it. But we got team mode. It only took all of my effort. Okay, now I have blockers. Hopefully this makes it easier. Oh, never mind. You guys stink. You're so slow. Unbelievable. Three hours later. I've been grinding off screen here to get myself enough points to get Russell Wilson or just Russ in this game. He is the lowest rated like professional player in this game. So hopefully this is enough to get me to level five so I can play the freaking zombie game mode. Great choice. You just bought Russ. I don't feel so great. Go Russ. Ah, damn it. I'm going to beat this if it's the last thing I do. I think I'm kind of figuring it out. It only took me like two hours. Now the blockers are still completely worthless. Ah, oh, damn it, but I unlocked zombie mode. We did it. It took ages. I wasted so much time. Let's see what this zombie mode is all about. Oh, it's just straight darkness. How do I shoot people? I don't know. Oh, I don't have weapons yet. So I just got to outrun them. It's a challenge for sure, but at least it's something different. Oh my gosh. How many of them are there? And I got through level one. It's just so dark. If there's any sprinters, I'm absolutely hopeless. Oh, there's one. You're not even playing football anymore. <laughs> there's zombies on the field. Hey, I like the creativity though. What I don't like is having to spend two hours to just be able to get enough coins to even play the damn game. Oh, I don't know how to beat that. All right. I think I've played enough of this game. It caused me way too much frustration. Everything's way too expensive in the game. I'm starting to understand why these are getting more and more negative reviews. All right. I got to keep my head up straight because we got two more and they were only getting worse on the reviews. This next one is called Girl Rugby Dash. But as you can see with the American football in her hands, this is not rugby. So it appears that someone just took like basic assets. You can download some 3D models and just threw it into a game. But these reviews describe this as a craptastic endless runner. I'm assuming that's horrible. Guns N' Roses says, this game is without purpose, boring and repetitive. What the hell I just played? Absolute trash. Obey the fist. Hey, we saw this guy before. He's calling it an asset flip. That's what I was saying. How can you call it rugby when it's American football assets? Exactly. Total ripoff. In the about page, it just says, start the rugby challenge. Run to the goal. Beat all your rivals. Don't let anyone stop you. Wait a minute. Beat all your rivals? This game also just looks a little sus. So it's going to be weird. People seeing me play this game on my Steam page. Make sure I'm offline. All right. This game is frustrating to me because this is the second time I had to record it because I forgot to put it up on screen and OBS. <sighs> <laughs> Girl Rugby Dash. Let's jump into arcade mode. See, I've already bought these like spiky shoulder pads. I didn't mean to run into that person. And you can see my record is like 1600 yards. I'm going to beat that here. And the point of this game, it just looks goofy. All right. Dodging half naked ladies. And there's a lot of ragdoll physics. It's quite goofy. They're like slide tackling into each other. It's ridiculous. Oh my God. The wild, crazy physics and nightmare fuel when we hit the replays. Oh my gosh. Flailing at me like a spider monkey. 
the arms are glitched out and it's horrifying. You know, for how terrible this game looks, it's surprisingly like not the worst thing I've ever played. Mainly because the last Endless Runner was a little frustrating. So this one at least letting me get some progression and have some free movement and terrifying spider monkeys running at me. It's not too bad, all things considered. Is it a game I recommend? Absolutely not. Now this is just gonna look really sus in my Steam profile history. They're gonna be like, what the hell is this game, Drew? It's gonna be tough to explain. You're like, look, you see I'm a YouTuber, right? I've gotta play weird games for the content. Will it get me demonetized on YouTube? I certainly hope not. Do we put it in the thumbnail for millions of views? Maybe. This is nice that I can play this game with one hand. That's not what I meant. It's only the arrow keys, not that. Fine, I'll play the game with two hands on the arrow keys. Like a man. New record! I can do this all day. You know what's funny is because I've already recorded this once, I already put in the request for the refund for this game. And I said the game was not fun. And then I had to download it again. Yo, get this girl some Gatorade. She's got to be tired after running like 3,000 yards in one run. I got to say, for this much talent she's got with her running ability, you perverts, there's little people in the crowd. Like, actually negative fans out there. What is difficult is giving commentary for a game game twice. So you just start rambling and then you start to question your existence because you're playing an endless runner that's described as craptastic. And I think that's a great way to put it. To the right, to the left, to the left, 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 left. You ready for this one? Whoop. There you go. Hit the hesitation move on him. She's dashing. She's hugging the turns and thinking of whom she still burns. She's going the distance. She's going for speed. She's all alone in her time of need. Only thing can stop me now is divine intervention. Man versus machine at this point. This is a really long football field. What's my goal here? 10,000? I don't know. Well, that one literally just disappeared. That one went airborne. Just 250 more yards. Almost there. You can do it. We beat it. 10k. Yet she's still going. I guess I just don't want to be the one to give it up. Level 69, nice. Now I can accept defeat. Just run headfirst into them. And now I can finally quit playing this game. You can buy a watermelon. She is now carrying a watermelon. I should have quit this game. I don't know why I'm backing it. So we've been getting progressively worse, but now we're going really far down to the depths. This one has 54 reviews and the overall scores very negative. This one's called Front Page Sports. To me, it looks like a Head Coach 09 ripoff. Like you call plays, build a team, play a season, and you can watch your team in 2D or 3D environments. But everyone says this game is extremely tedious, not immersive, just breaks and explodes every time you try to boot it up. This guy gave it a 1.5 out of 10. Uh, he also said, stay away. Paper Hornet is giving me a lot of signs say, do not come here. This game will ruin your life. So of course, I'm going to boot up the game and play it. Create your head coach. All right. Play as a manager with extended possibilities. I think they meant responsibilities. There are not even a sentence in and they've already kind of messed up. Smithers and Withers. Can I type it in enough? Fine. We already know who it is. Wait, can I upload a different avatar? There we go. Choose my team. The Cyclops. I mean, that jumped right at me right away. These are some teams for sure. The Northmen, the Wings. Man, they went deep into the ranks of random team names. Eli Manning, Dominique Rogers Crumb. How old are these rosters? I don't know why this guy's face thing is terrifying to me, but it is. What is this? The draft is coming soon. All right, let's look at the rookies. James Thrash, Elwin Light, Weston Larson. What position do we need? I don't know. <laughs> this is just like difficult to read. What do these attributes mean? Couldn't tell you. What is a foot rating? What does that mean? Eli Monning or Man Monong. He's got a 57 INT rating. Is that it? Intelligence? I couldn't tell you. What is play rating? I, I don't know. What is this game trying to tell me? Oh, wait, here's a frequently asked questions. You think I'm going to read all of that? You're a maniac. Let me look at the best quarterback, right? What is my roster? God, this is a complete difference from like just running forward. My brain has to operate. I don't like it. I'm just going to scout right on players because I don't think we're going to be playing this too deep. Does it scout immediately? Does it take time. I couldn't tell you. Alonzo gay. I mean, Alonzo can be whatever he wants to be game. You don't have to call him out like that. I must say this has got to be one of the worst scouting systems I've seen. It's just ugly to look at. You know, I can't do this anymore. Advance. We have six players in our short list. Good enough for me. Okay. So we signed two guys, a recorder and receiver. Um, what am I looking at here? Contact 
player. New contract. Sure, how about that? Team cannot sign more than that many players. Yeah, this game is very time consuming so far. I haven't done much of anything. The drafting was very ugly to look at. The game just crashed, by the way. I just want to play a game. Gino Smythe. Uh, you see this? Whatever. Good enough for me. Oh, this has got to be the slowest simulator I've ever seen. Let's play a game here. Yeah, there we go. Interesting. Um, yeah, what are we doing here? Do we have the ball or do they? Let's do a running play. There he goes. What a tackle. He just kind of freezes. Let's go counter. D why is he running straight? It was supposed to be a counter. Nothing makes sense. I mean, maybe I shouldn't be throwing it on this play, but Ryan Nasib. Oh, he's horrible. We're going for it. We don't back down. You can do it. Give him the rock. Defense ability. Okay, we're still alive here. 15 minutes. I'm not playing that long. He completed a pass. There we go. You got 11 wide open. Why did you throw it over that way? Oh, you maniac. Whatever. I'll take it. We score a touchdown, please. I don't even know how that guy didn't catch it. Find the open man underneath. Touchdown. Woo, we did it. Why is it so unsatisfying in this game, though? I don't know. And Ryan Nassib is back there standing straight up to hold the kick. And I don't know how it went through, but it did. I give this game one more possession before I'm losing it. Oh. <laughs> it he just threw it back 10 yards. I'm okay. Fourth and seven. We're not kicking anything. Go long, everybody. Okay, that was awful. Yeah, I don't know if I can play this game anymore. Get me out. Let me out. Well, those were some awful games, especially near the bottom of the bunch. So maybe I do trust a lot of reviews on Steam because most of those are pretty accurate. But that's what the bottom of the barrel looks like in terms of Steam games. Now, I don't mean to be mean to these indie developers because like there's a lot of great ideas here. Like some of these were just good ideas on paper, just not fully fleshed out to where they wanted it probably. And so it is currently not in a great state. I'll say that. But in a way, I did have fun exploring games that I probably wouldn't have played otherwise if it wasn't for a video. But anyways, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You're all legends in my book. And as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace. Thank you to Patreon supporters, Christian Tang, Jack Webb, Matt Woodruff, Anthony Uhaz, Alex Mohar, Timbo Slice, Rosalie Jarecki, Demandre Hunter-Martin, and Casey Knox.